Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Christina. Thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about something today. So I'm going to talk to you guys some more about your twin flame journey or your divine counterpart journey or your divine masculine journey. And you're probably going to have a tower. Okay, I'm probably going to give you a good tower. So you can expect the tower today. Okay, tower is on well, my channel tower is great so i also wanted to teach you about tarot also just to under just so you understand what tarot is why tarot is here so what is tarot tarot is something that we don't we aren't taught we aren't taught to use we aren't taught is okay we aren't we just aren't taught um so tarot reveals the mysteries you know, it reveals magic, you know, um, it talks about magic, it talks about divination, it talks about cycles, it talks about the moon, it talks about the unknown. So don't ever think that when you get a tarot reading, it's ever going to be um, a fairy tale. Okay, that is something called delusion. Okay, you're delusional if you're looking for a good outcome. In this age that we're living in living in in terms of ascension right now if you're on the ascension journey you're blowing up everything that is a lot okay so your whole your whole ascension is about a tower all of the towers in your life in your lineage coming down speaking of that coming down um i wanted to talk to you guys about different types of twin flames different types of journeys purposes of the journey purposes of waking up purposes for the true guardians who are returning back to the earth um purposes of everything so the purpose of most things in your journey or in your cycle is to uproot many structures that have possibly been in your family um lineage for many 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 moons and cycles and you just have not known or you're just probably the one, the star seed that always chooses to wake up, or the earth seed that chooses to always wake up, or the light worker that always chooses to wake up. So I'm going to give you a tower moment. So I'm going to give you a tower moment. How? Because your divine partnership journey is about building the proper relationship and the proper um, balance between your feminine side and your masculine side, eliminating all gender roles. Um healing all of the imprints of separation um example being you are a female you are a masculine you are a being okay you are a divine being you have a receptive side and you have a um a transmitter side so you have a basically a give and take side you are both okay you are a feeler and you are a thinker you think and you now our bodies are machines we are a machine um and so they have not taught us how our body is supposed to function or even what our body is we don't even know that our body is a machine so a lot of the systems don't function do not connect or communicate with each other so henceforth um, a lot of us are constantly looking for okay let's say I'll take myself an example I never used to like to take out the garbage and I use my car as an example all the time um, I never used to like to take out the garbage um, for various reasons, but somebody looking at me and just looking at the way that I present myself and I'm all fluffy, fluffy could think that, oh, she's princessy or she's, she's too girly to take out the garbage. Not understanding that I just don't like dirt. I don't like dirt. I, I don't like to be near it. Um, things of that nature, but other people that typically say, oh, I don't do garbage. That's a man shop. That is a gender role. That means that you don't understand that. You are both masculine and feminine and what there's nothing you can't do. Okay. There's nothing you shouldn't be able to do. Um, that being said, um, we are all in a masculine body. There only are masculine bodies. We are only masculine bodies. We have a rod and we have a staff. And so that leads me to my next point. Your divine, um, journey about being a divine masculine and a divine feminine is about you be building the right template building the right rod and staff for yourself um and building the right structure and becoming the right type of um, vessel for true inner union for yourself when you have true un inner union for yourself you don't lack anything your life is not lackful um you're you're balanced in your feelings you can express your feelings you can express yourself 
Um, you can achieve your goals. You can communicate effectively. You can achieve your goals. Um, so these are just some of the things that um, to think about. So when you're building or when you're on this journey or when you're about to be on this journey, because if you're on my channel, you're about to be, your world is about to be opened up. So when you're on this journey and you're watching these YouTube channels and you're watching these readings and you're getting these tarot readings and you're inquiring about your divine partner, you have to be very careful about something called the anti um twin flame or anti-divine union whatever it is there's anti-structures okay it is a structure when you think about marriage marriage is a structure so if you're thinking about your spiritual marriage it is also a structure so they are also false spiritual marriage structures now we know all about the false real structures we have all types of false um marital structures like open relationships um clandestine relationships um some same-sex relationships are okay. Some are not. Some are anti hero gamos technology that um, have been being used on you or your partner and you guys aren't aware. So you, what? I'm sorry. One part of you have been totally um, suffocated or just, um, I want to say, um, you've totally been separated from a part of you. Some women that actually feel feel that they are masculines are completely, um, their genes. Okay. That's the right word I wanted to use. Their genes are suppressed. Okay. Your genes, your masculine genes or your feminine genes have been, are being suppressed. So therefore you feel as though you're, and that's what they want. This is what these type of, um, anti star seeds or anti, um, light workers, anti indigos, anti crystal anti everything anti us anti life anti christ the churches the religion the uh, the media the world wants you to believe that th that's normal um homo there's nothing wrong with homosexuality in the right context but most of us aren't um most of us aren't um and there's nothing wrong with it either way but they, most of us are not most of us have counterparts and we are built to be counterparts and we are built to bridge gaps and become um divine masculine and divine union so that we can um, um bring divine union here on earth um that being said um a lot of um divine masculines and i don't really want to say masculines um in terms of um spirituality i'm talking about masculines period in the in the 3d realm that we see um a lot of them that are star seeds or that are light workers or that are indigo or that are crystals are not waking up okay it's quite impossible for them to wake up it's very i tell you they're very 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 under attack they're just it's very impossible right now for for you and them to actually become one just because of the mindsets that they're under because of the control the mind control that they're still under still under programming still under attack still not knowing how to even be a divine masculine still not knowing that they're i'm sorry divine masculine is not the right word for them they don't know they are divine fem they don't know that they are both so they could still be out there looking for you know, looking for a counterpart in the wrong way or still um, behaving in a way that would suggest that they don't understand gender roles. They don't understand gender. They don't understand the principle of divine union. They don't understand what this, what is all about. Um, and then you have a lot of fraudulent groups out here who are, you have a lot of fake spiritual groups out here, a lot of fake spiritual groups who are still teaching about um, false um, ascension journey, what it is not about. A lot of it, um, you know, a lot of it has your family. So, for example, I have a lot of ancestral history where in terms of my family marrying one another and having children with one another and just all family type of sexual stuff. And on my channel, we go there. So I hope that you're okay with that because these are ancestral um, things that you have to clear. You have to cut. You have to clear um, in order to um, truly um, embody your, your true divine self, your true higher self and your true, um, star seed lineage. And these are things that are okay to talk about. So, um, there's nothing wrong with knowing that on the journey you will encounter possibly like I encountered twin, um, moments where I had to blow up structures where there are agendas, demonic, satanic, Luciferian, Illuminati, Freemasons, um, brotherhood of the snakes, where they do pair you with a family member. So also remember that this is also being staged by many, many, um, entities are involved in the, um, divine feminine and divine masculine journey. Many entities are involved in that process. It's not just, um, more than likely it's not even really 
good entities that are involved. Mostly it's you're supposed to be the good, you know, entity. I hate to use the word good and bad, but um, you're supposed to know things. So the more you know, the better it is. So there are a lot of demonic, satanic things that go on in my family. Um, So I experienced where there were a lot of inter family marriages, um, a lot of interfamily lustings, set up relationships, just a lot of false structures that had to come down. So that actually gets in the way of your divine masculine and divine feminine inner union. So you have to blow that up. Yeah. So there are a lot of entities that are setting up your marriages. So, um, and setting up your relationship. So you just have to be in mind that how this world operates. It operates on technology. So these are technology-based programs. Incest is a technology-based program. Same-sex relationships can be um, technological-based programming. So, And then you also have demonic, satanic, divine masculine and divine feminine structures that are actual unions that they're actually setting up in those kingdoms and in those realms. And it's here under heavy disguise. So you have to be very much aware. Um about that um that's why i tell you guys to just be aware on this journey so you're building your divine masculine and your divine feminine journey is about building the proper rod and staff you have a rod and staff and it fits and it's supposed to it's supposed to fit at a certain angle and you'll know it um there are things called um false partners we have a lot of false partners networks so these are some barriers that you can um that you can experience um, on the journey. And some of you just need to be very aware and learn to trust yourself, okay? Some of you really need to be aware and just trust yourself in terms of um, how you feel around people. Um, you have to, I'm not a water sign, but I'm learning that when I can't feel, I'm supposed to feel. So you have to learn how to exhibit and embody other signs, you know? Um, you know, so I have to learn how to use my feelings to kind of judge things and not always be in that sun energy, not always, you know, have my head in the sun because a lot of things are not very sunny. So we have to um, just be very mindful of energies that are around us. So and then you have a lot of entities that are out here. And when you're watching these programs, you have to understand that there are many entities that are um that are kind of probing and feeding these networks on YouTube that are giving you these informations about um, your twin flame and who he is and who he isn't. And some of you think he's a celebrity and your twin flame is never a celebrity. That is more than likely, to be honest with you, a delusion that you have to kind of deal with. So hence, if you think, if you're on this journey and you think that your divine masculine or your divine counterpart is a, not saying they can't be, but more than likely, they're, it's not. More than likely, it's not. Not saying that there's anything wrong with marrying a, a celebrity or anything wrong with celebrities to begin with, but just more than likely, it's not. Um, now, we do have genetic equals. So just be aware of that. You know, you do have a genetic equal. So even if the you have a person in mind that you think is your twin flame, it doesn't have to be that person. It can be somebody you energetically are equal with. Now, what is an energetic equal? An energetic equal is one. Another child moment is about to come for you because a genetic equal is just a species equal. It's just a species equal. Okay? Um, it's just the same species. You have a lot on this journey. And and all most of the time, a lot of it is spiritual. So you're not really going to know much about the person or you're really not going to have much information about the person's... Um, genetic identity genetic fabric genetic makeup and you're not going to know that you're not going to know that until you get to that point where you need to know that so that being said um genetic equal divine partnerships are just that human-based relationships okay and even if your divine counterpart does exist on another in another realm or is some another um part of the universe at this particular moment you guys cannot connect right now um he is still energetically um, able to be your, or she is still energetically able to be your divine counterpart, even though they might exist in another realm. On their blueprint is energetically um, a match for yours. So even though they might not have a physical body yet, 
they still are your energetic equal. Now, why I say that is because there are many different species here on Earth. Not all of us are, um, not all of us are the same species. So when I talk about a genetic equal, it's just the same species. It's just somebody of the same species as you. Um, you have many types, just like I. I don't have to be a star seed. I can be a light worker. I can be an indigo. I can be an earth child. I can be an earth seed. I can be a different type of, um, I can be a different type of earth seed. I can be a different type of star seed. I can be a Christic. I can be a, um, I can just be a paradigm. I can, there are many different types of, I can be an indigo. It, there can be many different types of, um, star seeds. I can be a Syrian. I can be an Octorian. I can be a Plalidian. Um, just like there are many different types of star seeds. There are many different types of, um, there are many different types of species. For example, the Draconians. I, I, I am because they're refugee races that came to this earth and uh, I don't know how on earth. I mean, I do know how, but in my mind, I can't really understand how that happened, but we don't know. So as a lack of knowledge and as a lack of unawareness, um, there came and they basically took over. They have different minds. So they have different minds. So sometimes you're interacting with somebody and you're like, they, how, what in the world are they thinking? Why they, they're different mind. They have a different mind than you. So you know that right away that that's a different species. Okay. If that makes sense to you. Um, there are many different species on earth and there are many different reptilian species here on other realms that aren't bad. Um, they just aren't developed yet and they just don't understand things yet. So, um, just be aware of that. So key points that I want you to take away here from is blowing up family incest. Okay, family incest, family sexual incest, relationship incest, um, things like that. Relationships, clandestine relationships. Those are experiments. Those are government experiments, by the way. So if you feel like if you think that your divine masculine is a divine masculine and he's married, that's not more than likely that's not your divine masculine and you're sitting waiting for him to get um, divorced or something like that. That's a clandestine relationship and that's not, that's normally like an experiment from the government. They're running experiments and, and it's really not um, divine. It's really the false. It's like a false program that is running. You do you do have a divine masculine. He's not married. Okay, he'll never be married. That's more like an assimilation. A lot of the stuff here are assimilations. Okay, um, like I said, we're technology. Now, if you don't know your technology and you're not using your te own technology, they're going to run technology for you. So, um, yeah program virtual realities they have some we have reality boxes um lots of reality boxes okay so if you're like oh i saw him doing this or i, I had a dream <laughs> you know i had a dream and i saw those are reality boxes okay those are digital twins those are reality boxes okay false reality false dream state you have a lot of things you have mind slides mind uploading synthetic telepathy has the skull technology you have a lot of things that come in between um your true consciousness and um their consciousness okay so that being said um if you have any questions comments or concerns you can always email me or you can always just write below um and also you have things other just entities that are just here that just exist and you could think that that's your divine mass and it's not so we have watchers you know i spoke about watchers before you have a lot of watchers so if you're on this journey and you think so, it could just be a watcher these are not things for us to be afraid of these are things that exist um you have watchers here okay you have gregories and golems and they just they're in other realms and they're in other dimensions and they do they do just that they watch us Okay, they do watch. So we do have watchers and we do have Gregories and we do have columns. So you do have to be very, very, very aware of um, things going on. And, you know, you have to be aware, um, you know, if you're in this, if you're on this journey and you're constantly going through the same thing over and over again, you have to be careful. They have, if you don't know that you're, um, if you don't know that you're technology, you're probably in some type of tank. Okay, so your whole life could just be in a tank and you have no clue. Okay. Um, there, and if you're on the journey and they're talking about Kundalini rising and all kinds of stuff like that, there are false Kundalini and true Kundalini. 
So you just have to kind of be very aware of what's going on and you have to be very aware. We do have a lot of, um, we do have a lot of guardianships. They are literal ships. Okay. The guardianships are little ships like you see on um you see them in the boats the guardianships are just like that so guardians do come and they they bring you on their light ships and then these ets come and they act like guardians and they bring you on their starships and they bring you on their fleet and they bring you here and they bring you there and you don't know where you're going so you just have to be very careful you have to start to learn things so that you can kind of get in control um, so that's true awakening for you. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you.